بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد As a reminder to myself and those listening it's imperative for us to reflect on the importance of guarding our tongue the importance of staying away from backbiting the importance of, of uh, avoiding slandering other people speaking about their business uh, lying, anything, any of those harms that come with the tongue. And speaking excessive, because sometimes, as they say, silence is golden. And the Prophet Wasallam let us know that, that if you don't have something good to say, then keep silent. And this is the minhaj of the Salaf Asari. This is the methodology of the Salaf Asari. There's so many narrations of the Salaf. And there's so many exhortions by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam first and foremost then the Sahaba with Tabi'een about the importance of guarding your tongue. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَثْقُلُ فِي مَيْزَانَ الْمُؤْمِنِ فِي الْمَيْزَانَ الْمُؤْمِنِ مُؤْمِنِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَاهِشَ الْبِذِي The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than good manners. And verily Allah hates sinful uh, and wicked speech. وَسُؤْلِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَنْ أَكْثَرِ مَا يُدْخِلَ النَّاسَ الْجِنَّةِ قَالَ تَقْوَ اللَّهِ وَحُسْنُ الْخُلْقِ وَسُؤْلِ أَنْ أَكْثَرِ مَا يُدْخِلَ النَّاسَ النَّارِ قَالَ الْفِمْ وَفَرَجْ So in another hadith the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked he was asked about what is the thing that will most uh, get us into paradise. The Prophet ﷺ said, He said, good manners and fearing Allah. And what is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means? It means doing those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Avoiding those things which displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And putting something in between you in the hellfire, meaning your good deeds, meaning your manners, meaning keeping silent, me, meaning uh, speaking good only. And then the Prophet uh, was asked, And the Prophet was asked, What are the things that are most likely going to, uh, you know, cause the people to enter the hellfire? And he said, He said, The tongue meaning speaking ill, all those things we mentioned about before. Well, faraj, meaning the private parts, by not guarding one's private parts, by getting involved in zina, masturbation, all those other things which are prohibited by Islam. Here are some narrations of the Salaf about the importance of keeping silence and the difficulty. And these uh, are narrations from Mosua ibn Abi Dunya, rahimahullah ta'ala, who collected so many uh, narrations on the Salaf uh, regarding many different uh, topics and things, but especially about raqaiq, those things which have an effect on the heart. And in this narration, Qala, Hadathani Hassan ibn Sabah on Abi Yazid al-Raqi. On Fudayl ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, qal, Ma hajja, wala ribat, wala jihad, ashidd min habsa lisan, walaw asbahta, ولو أسبحت يهمك لسانك أسبحت في غم شديد. so he narrated this is a narration of فضيل بن عياد رحمه الله تعالى who said that حج nor the horses that are used for war nor jihad is more difficult than restraining the tongue meaning the tongue is more difficult to restrain than, than doing those great acts of, uh, of, of worship and, and so forth. And he said, and if uh, someone strives to uh, control their tongue, then you will see that they have great uh, grief with this in this matter. Meaning it's very difficult to control the tongue because people speak about things uh, and, and speak against other people all the time. وَقَالَ فَضَيَلْ رَحِمَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى In another, another uh, narration, سِجِنَ لِسَانْ سِجِنَ الْمُؤْمِنْ وَلَيْسَ أَحَدْ أَشِدَّ غَمَّنْ مِمَّا سِجِنَ لِسَانِهِ So he said, فَضَيَلْ إِبْنِ عِيَادْ 
rahimahullah ta'ala, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, the uh, restraining the tongue, like the prison of the tongue, is the prison of the believer, or the prison is the prison of the believer. And there isn't a person who has more grief than the one who strives to imprison his tongue or restrain his tongue. The Prophet Sallallahu said in another narration at when he was walking by the graves, and to, which illustrates for us that by not controlling our tongues and backbiting and slandering people, carrying tales of the people, meaning you hear something about someone and you spread it. It could be a lie. You haven't made tafab, but you don't know if it's true or not. But you went, you spread that evil and you spread it with the intention to cause facade. And then how many people do we know, wa'iyadu billah, who spread uh, tales in order to cause fitna between the people, in order to cause harm in the community? People do this. These are characteristics of the munafikin. These are characteristics of the hypocrites. These are evil traits. So the Prophet ﷺ was walking by some graves. The Prophet ﷺ said, while he was walking by some graves, he said, Verily they're being punished. And they're being punished for something that the people uh, take lightly. As for one of them, he uh, used to not uh, cleanse himself properly when he was urinating. Allah. And as for the second one, he used to spread tales amongst the people in order to spread uh, evil. Letting us know that not controlling our tongue and backbiting, slander and those things, namima, are some of the things which are a cause for the torment of the grave, for a punishment in the grave. In uh, another narration, I'll, I'll just mention one more narration uh, from the Salaf. It's a beautiful narration. Qala, وَحَدَثْنِي حَسَنِ بِنْ سَبَاحْ قَالْ قَالَ عَلِي بِنْ بَكَارْ قَالَ عُمَرْ بِنْ عَبْدِ الْعَزِيزِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى إِذَا رَأَيْتُمَ الرَّجُلْ يُطِيلُ الصَّمْتِ وَيَهْرَبْ مِنَ النَّاسِ فَأَقْتَرِبُ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَلْقِي الْحِكْمَةِ A beautiful narration. Uh, Umar, uh, Umar ibn Abdulaziz, Umar ibn Abdulaziz, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, if you see a man who is quiet for long periods of time and he avoids, uh, you know, excessive mixing with the people, then become close to him. For verily he is a person who has achieved wisdom. So that's a beautiful narration for us to learn how to keep silent. That doesn't mean we don't mix with the people, but it just means being excessive in mixing and you've got to, and you're bound to fall into backbiting by mixing with the people a lot. And especially when they get loose with their tongue and they start talking about meaningless and worthless uh, things, things that have no benefit for us in our deen or our dunya, in the worldly life or the other worldly life then that, there's no benefit in those gatherings. But the person who avoids those type of gatherings and is quiet for long periods of time, as Umar ibn Abdulaziz said, Rahimallah ta'ala, then this person has attained wisdom. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those people who attain wisdom. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.